What's going on everybody? We are back with another Murder Mystery 2 video for you guys today. Um, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. There's no Murder Mystery 2 gameplay, but today I want to teach you guys about a huge part of Murder Mystery 2 that I feel like everyone doesn't really understand or have the full concept of, and that's trading. I think trading is such a big part of Murder Mystery 2 and a big part in why it's such an amazing game so I want to teach you guys the basics of trading and kind of get you guys rolling for anyone that doesn't know how to trade and just plays the game for the game I want to get those people rolling and how to trade and you know how to not get scammed and how to get good efficient and fun trades for you to make profit in murder mystery 2 <laughs> Okay, first thing I want to run through you guys is the different types of knives in Murder Mystery 2. I have a lot of them, so I can kind of explain to you exactly what there are. So there's a couple different rarities. So now, with new crafting, there's Ancient, Godly, Legendary, Rare, Uncommon, and Common. So, we start with the Ancient. This is basically a new rarity that just kind of came out with crafting and there's only one ancient knife which is the flames knife as you can see right there the flames knife is the only ancient knife in the game right now so after that is your godlies i don't have all of the godlies but i do have a decent amount of godlies and this indicates the pink so pink is godlies purple is ancient pink is godly and then you move on to the legendary which are the reds so there's guns and knives legendaries as you guys know which is all the reds and then there's the rares, which are in the green. And then there is the uncommons that are in the blue. And then there are the commons that are in the white text. So those are all the rarities. There's one other rarity that some of you may not know, some of you may know, and it's called, well, it's the corrupt knife. The corrupt knife is actually called victim and it's yellow. And it's only, there's a very, 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 low amounts of them in the game uh, they are very hard to get it was only given to people that have lost their inventory in a glitch that happened way back in the day and basically that was given to those people that lost their inventories and now there's I believe only like 42 or 26 of them I actually don't even know the exact number but there's a very low amount of them in the game and they are extremely rare and extremely pricey okay so those are all the different types of rarities in the game. Now I want to show you guys how to trade somebody. So you guys know that you can right click on someone's name here and press trade on them and then you can request a trade. But a lot of people are not getting very like fair trade. So a lot of people aren't earning as much as they could be when they're trading in the game. So the way that you guys can see if you're getting a good deal in Murder Mystery 2 or not is through the MM2 forms value list. I'll show you guys, the link is in the top of the description. You can go check out that website and you can see the value list. So let's hop on there and we can continue this. All right guys, so now once you hit this, once you click the link in the description, you'll be taken to a page that looks like this, the Murder Mystery 2 value list. Okay, so once you're here, uh, you can go to the victim section. This is the corrupt knife. Um, it is very, these are all the people that they know that actually own the corrupt knife there and then um, so basically once you're on this page you can click these little tabs at the top and it'll tell you all everything that you need to know it's really good it's a very good tool that not everyone knows about so you can go to the ancient tab and like I said there's only the one flames knife here and then you can go to godly it'll show you all the godlies legendary rare uncommon common and then there's classics and pets as two other rarities as well so we'll just go to godly so as you can see um, there's godlies here so this is a list of all of them as you can see there is seer which is the base um, tool that they use to measure how rare a certain knife is in the game and then there's the tier 1 godlies tier 2 godlies and tier 3 godlies so basically they, this kind of separates them into three different tiers and different tiers result in different values so we'll start in tier 1 this consists of the nightblade ice dragon Eximus. as you can see all of these here are in tier 1 so let's go let's go through so value in sears so this is how much the knife is worth in sears so the old glory is worth 20 sears so if someone has 20 sears uh, you could trade that for an old glory that's how that works it goes into the demand which is uh, here how much demand there is for this knife so there's a star rating so there's out of five stars how much people want this knife so the demand is pretty good on old glory it's three out of five which is a, it's a solid amount it's an average amount of demand and then how to obtain this tells you how these knives were obtained so it, like it says um, through trading or buying trading knife box one gives it knife box two gives it or trading only usually the trading only stuff 
increases in value because there's no there's no other way of getting it so the only way of, get, way of getting it is by trading so those usually are on the higher end of value it tells you the status of uh, the knife so if it's unwanted stable or rising in a value or people starting to want it more uh, so it tells you that which is really cool and then how much it's worth in robux is also calculated and it'll let you know there and then how it's originally obtained so the futuristic item pack is here how many sales and then it'll tell you like so now you can only trade it because it was only available through the futuristic item pack so yeah that's how it kind of runs down everything all right guys so let's just run through a quick little scenario let's say you have yourself an old glory um knife right uh that's valued in tw at 20 series it is a tier one godly and someone else is offering you a tides see they both look pink to, so to the average person it looks looks like like it's there's no big difference right they're both the same rarity but see they have very big differences in value they both look like godlies but they're not okay so they're not the same so old glory is worth 20 sears right tides is worth 62 which is triple the value so tides is worth three times the amount so always when you're trading to try to go up so basically if you have the old glory and someone's offering tides that is a no-brainer you trade that right away no brainer you can kind of go up and down slightly if you really like it like let's say you you have an old glory but you really like a blaster so you're going down in value but if you really 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 like it and it's from your own like heart is like what you want it you could do the trade why not you know like if you want it you could do it but if you're looking for straight value and how to increase your inventory you got to start somewhere so you you open a couple boxes maybe you'll get a legendary knife and then you can work your way up so you can click on the legendary tier list which is exactly just like the godly one but it kind of runs through the same thing but for legendaries all right guys so let's say you get yourself a couple legendary knives all right so you got yourself a fusion a fade a splash universe the way you can get these again is through opening boxes so once you have yourself a small inventory there's um, basically there's no really way of starting out other than just opening boxes or if you have a friend that can give you a little bit of a loan at the start which is really nice of them if they could but again the main way is just to open some boxes. So let's say you get a couple legendary knives. Um, as you can see, these are tier one knives that you get from boxes. You can move up. So as you can see, a tier a tier two legendary like Midnight, let's say, you can click on Midnight as well, and you can get a little picture of it as well just to see how it looks. It's valued four tier one legendary. So four tier of the four of these tier one legendaries equals one of these knives. So that's how you can move your way up. Once you get four, you can get one of these. Okay, and then once you get one of these, they're worth a little bit more, you know what I mean? Like you can kind of increase your value and start building your way up. A lot everyone knows about the value list, so you can get pretty good trades if someone doesn't know their values, but I'm just trying to inform all of the JD army how to make smart trades. I don't want anyone to be getting scammed, so this is how you get it done. So let's say you, you can continue your way up, you continue your way up, and somehow you get your hands on a godly. Let's say you start at an ice uh, at an ice dragon. An ice dragon is pretty was pretty easy to get. It was actually a, a part of the winter crafting, so hopefully you guys got your hands on one of those. It is now only available through trading, right? So like you cannot get it anymore. So basically, there's a lot of people that have it, but I mean the demand could go up in the future because you can't get it anymore. So let's say you got yourself an ice dragon, and an Xmas is worth four series, an ice dragon is worth two. So maybe you could trade yourself up to an Xmas. If you see someone with an Xmas, you can get a trade there and then you'll your value will go up a little bit. So, so you, you start working your way up, right? And you just keep training people until you can get hopefully into some bigger tiers. Once you get over here, as you can see, the chill is worth 600 sears. Handsaw, sugar, candy, red luger, and green luger are the rarest godlies, which are awesome. I love all of them and I would love to have all of them. I don't really have any of them. But again, I would love to have them. Like, as you can see, the status is outrageous. They're worth a lot of Robux. And um, they're all, you can't get them anymore. The only way to get them is through trading, which is really cool. So yeah, this is how you guys can kind of see how to get the most value. Again, now, if you think about it, if you go to tier two, guys, and take a look, as you can see, all the godlies here, like the tides, um, they're all the, all the ones from boxes. So from knife box five, which is the newest box, the tides is worth the most value in Sears. So let's say you have some money and you're gonna open some boxes. It is the most worth it for you to open knife box five because of this reason. Let's say you have the same amount of chance to get a godly in every box from knife box one to knife box five. If you pick five and you actually get the godly, you're gonna be gonna be getting the most value in Sears. But let's say you pick knife box number one, which is where, knife box one, death shard. Look, if you pick knife box one and you get a godly, which is insanely hard to do, 
you're only getting one that's worth seven sears but if you open the knife box five and you get a tides it's 62 sears worth so it's a huge difference even though the box costs the same amount so always try to go for the newer boxes because if you get the newer godly you're going to have more value and you can trade up to better godlies in the future so I'll just kind of explain it to you guys. So as you can see, if you go to shop and if you go to weapons, you can see all these knife boxes. The same, the value to get the god, the chance to get the godly is the same amount. So knife box five, the chance to get this godly is the same as knife box one. Maybe you like the stuff in knife box one, so you want to go for it if you like the aesthetics of the knives. But if you're looking for straight value and trying to build your inventory up, the smartest thing to do is to go for knife box five because you can get the most valuable godly out of that one. So as you can see, I have the tides right here. If I want to trade towards something on this list, kind of like a green Luger, this is 300 in Sears. So usually what you do is if you're trading multiple items towards one item, usually you overpay a little bit. So let's say um, that's 300. So I would have to do an eternal, which is around 70, a heat, a tides, and maybe a pixel. Um, and then you could start working your way up towards a, if you see someone with a green Luger. You're always going to be overpaying if you're going from four items to one item. One item in value is worth more than four items in like the same amount of value. So if you're go if you're going for one rare item like a chill, you just just understand that you might need to overpay maybe 50, 100 Sears because you're taking like a bunch and morphing it into one. So people will expect you to overpay. And if you have that chill in your inventory, if you have that sugar, make sure you expect someone else to overpay if they're giving you multiple stuff for one item, not just even it out. Usually it's a little bit more, but if you can get your hands on a good trade where it's even or even you're paying less for the item, then go for it. Always refer to this and kind of see the value of everything and make sure you use this tool. It's really, really, really handy if you go to pets you can even see all the pets they're all listed out here how you can get all the pets how you can like see like how much they were worth everything it, it gets awesome it tells you everything i know a lot of you guys had questions even the classics these are the old knives from murder mystery one that were brought into murder mystery two these are all here as well it kind of tells you the tier, three tiers of those and yeah it's really cool this kind of tells you that you could use these in trading but if you obtain these i like to keep them because they're again they're classics right so i have a couple of them as you can see, the classics are at the bottom. I have Blood, Ghost, Golden Phaser. I have all these classics, and I kind of like keeping them because they remind me of the old Murder Mystery 2, and I really like those knives and guns. So I like to keep them and not really use them in my trading process. But if you'd like to trade, trade them, go ahead. There's still a little bit of value in Sears. Like, I mean, this one's worth 10, 3, 5. So you could still use these and trade for some Godlies, which is really cool. If you don't really like the classics and you like Godlies, then you could use these in your trading. Why not? It's, it, it's a good tool to have. Now, the last thing I want to run through is something called a middleman. On Murder Mystery 2, um, you could only trade um, four slots. So let's say you want to trade like seven items for one item. You need someone that can take both and kind of just make sure that both items are in his inventory and then he can now disperse them to the right people. So there's no scamming involved. Um, on Murder Mystery 2 value list, you can go to the trusted tab and on here it will show you all the trusted people. So Murder Mystery 2 moderators and then non Murder Mystery 2 moderators. These can all be trusted. Uh, you, you should usually go to the trusted section all of these will tell you will tell you their time zone and they can do perform the trades for you so you don't lose your weapons when you're doing a big trade i highly recommend going to these people when you need a, a big trade done um again this is not really for the like low godlies kind of like over here this is when it starts going into the chills and most of the tier three stuff when you're paying a lot of godlies like like a lot of like small godlies like the xmas the, if you're paying a lot of tier one godlies for a big one it's always good to go through a middleman and he'll make sure that the trade goes through with no scamming and he'll watch over everything so make sure you guys are not getting scammed that's why i'm making this video so you guys can use this value list increase your inventory make some money on murder mystery 2 and in the meantime don't get scammed and have a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on murder mystery 2 on how to trade uh this was just a very brief overview i didn't go into small little tips and tricks if you guys want to continue this series leave a like on the video and let us know that you guys want more of these trading tips and how to trade maybe i can show you guys some of my trades and how i do them things like that if you guys want to see more leave a like on the video let's hit 3,000 likes if we hit 3,000, i'll definitely do more of these murder mystery 2 trade videos in the future Thank you so much for watching, everybody. You're all amazing. Bye -bye.